here with your first alert forecast. Got to have the weather, that's for sure. Good morning, everybody. We got some clouds that are thickening up. And out of these clouds this morning, there might be a sprinkle or a widely scattered shower. You can see some of this activity coming across from New York. Now, watch it carefully. As it comes in or tries to work its way in, it's shrinking. Just scattered light showers Albany down into the Poconos right now. And that'll be the case today. A little bit of light rain from time to time. You want your umbrella just in case you get caught in one of these light rain showers. Nothing beneficial. Temperatures 30s and 40s now. At the bus stop, maybe a sprinkle in western Connecticut. Temperatures in the 30s. And for the commute, a sprinkle in the west and mostly cloudy skies as we go through the day today with, again, those scattered showers. Hannah standing by. She is looking at traffic and she has some uh, breaking news right now. Now. Good morning. We have a serious crash in Middletown. Police say this is on Country Club Road right near 91 exit 20. The exit 20 off ramp northbound is closed right now as police respond to the scene. They say Lifestar is also responding to the scene. A car crashed into a tree and at least one person is having to be extricated from that vehicle. So a very serious situation going on there. If we can take a live look outside on 91 nearby at exit 22, you're actually not going to see any delays in that area. That's a check of your roads. Guys, back to you. Hannah, thank you. We'll stay on top of that crash in Middletown. An historic campaign, a tight race, and a Trump victory. Early this morning, Donald Trump was elected the next president of the United States. Yeah, and I think we're going to take a look at some of the uh, newspaper covers uh, around the nation as people are waking up to this news. Uh, certainly a lot of people talking. It was a long night. Uh, here's the front page of the Dallas Morning News. Trump triumphs. Uh, we've seen also the New York Post has already published their uh, cover photo on Twitter. So a big talker this morning. This is our top story. Uh, here we go. This is the New York Post. Uh, it says uh, they said it couldn't happen. President Trump. Reflecting we're the surprise of many people. Yes. And we're going to send you now to New York City now for a.